Here in Thailand, hundreds of pro-democracy protesters rallied in Bangkok to call for the government's resignation, defying warnings from authorities about the kingdom's soaring coronavirus cases. We have Crystal de Morocco to have more reports. Crystal? Yes, good afternoon, Faye. In another news here in Bangkok, for the first time in months, hundreds of pro-democracy protesters rallied in Bangkok on Thursday to call for political change. This is the first since the second wave of COVID-19 in mid-December 2020, and as the country battles its worst surge of infections as well as deaths in third wave, which began in April this year. Protesters are calling for Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha's resignation and constitution reform proposals from the opposition to be accepted. This coincides with two remarkable events known to be the 89th anniversary of the Siamese Revolution, an uprising that transformed the country from absolutism to constitutional monarchy, and the parliamentary debate and vote on 13 draft constitutional amendments suggested by political parties, both the government coalition and opposition. Defying the emergency decrease ban on gatherings of more than 50, hundreds of protesters gathered at the Democracy Monument in Bangkok at dawn, the time the People's Party revolutionarily or revolutionaries declared the end of absolute monarchy almost nine decades ago. Various political messages are placed across the venue along with a large placard reading, the country belongs to the people. Protesters then marched nine kilometers to the direction of Parliament House to insist for their three main demands, which includes amendment or rewriting of the charter, must be done by a committee elected by the people, that any section of the charter can be amended, and removal of the junta-appointed Senate and other coup legacies. In front of Parliament, the group handed over a replica of historic plaque once installed in the tarmac at the Royal Plaza by the re revolutionaries and which went missing in 2017. An open letter stating their demands and a copy of the first constitution to an opposition representative so that the parliamentarians can be reminded of the priorities of the people when deliberating proposed amendments. The current constitution is the 20th, drafted by the military regime in power between 2014 and 2019 and approved in a nationwide referendum in 2016. Protest leader from Tamasat University, Pari Chiwarak, also known as Penguin, said he had low expectations of parliament but needed to make groups voice heard. He said, and I quote, we are here to make our standpoint known. It's up to you whether you listen or not. The Ratsadon group will persist with our demands. Prayut needs to be out by the end of this year, end of quote. The rallies continued through the evening at various locations in Bangkok, calling off the protests early to avoid clashes or unexpected incidents, early without camping out in front of government house as intended. Leaders have called for regroups on Saturday. Thailand is now battling its worst COVID-19 crisis yet, with many hospitals reported reaching capacity infections since April 1st, 2021 has the 200,000 mark today. This update is from Thai PBS World. Back to you, Faye. And Crystal de Morocco, there was also a record that police had prepared to water cannon and detention trucks. Were there any reports of violence in the protest site? Um, thank you, Faye. Um, but no, there are no violence. It was a peaceful uh, rally uh, done by the Thai citizens. Okay, thank you very much, Chriselle de Morocco, for that report. You keep safe and please keep the updates coming. Thank you so much, Faye. Reporting live from Bangkok, Thailand, this is Chriselle Nicole de Morocco, and we'll leave in interesting times.